Welcome back to the channel, family. It's your man, Bird Soccer Free RV. We got a great video for you today. We're coming to you live from Lots Island RV Park in Savannah, Georgia, on Hunter Army Airfield. Stay tuned for more. All right, so we're gonna get a quick look at at Lots Island RV Park, uh, local military RV park here in Savannah, Georgia. And they are full for the holiday. That's amazing. I wouldn't expect them to be this packed, um, but a lot of people traveling for the holiday, I guess. So this your basic RV park here at uh, Hunter Army Airfield in Savannah, Georgia. Um, we've stayed at this park before, like once. This is a no frills RV park, okay? If you staying in here, you're here, you either just wanna visit Savannah, or I don't know, shake down trip, or whatever you plan, oh, we got Puma, we got one of those. Um, but it's no frills, no bath houses, no amenities, no nothing. Um, they do have pool hookup sites, 30 amp, 50 amp, uh, water and sewer. And if one is available, we're gonna jump out and check it out. Um, the one that I love to stay in is not available. They got a big Class A in there right now. I would have loved to get out and show that to you guys. But I might actually, before we get this video out, I might actually come back and get that site. But they do have one that's available, that's open right now. So this RV park has about 20 to 30 RV sites. It looks like they have a dump station. Um, but again, it's just for you to stop off for the night or oh, site seven's empty right there. We may come back to that one. Um, it's just for you to stop off for the night. I'm sure they have a few people that live here that, that's actually stationed here. I know they try to cut back, uh, try to cut back on a lot of these people using this as where they live at their primary residence but i'm pretty sure i think the rule is you get to stay for 90 days and then you have to move out or move on to somebody else and then somewhere else and then you can come back um but i'm sure uh, there's some service members that's in here right now but it's pretty decent um but it's nothing special nothing for the kids unless you bring it yourself um this one right here with this big class A in it, this is site 14. This is the one I like to stay in when I come. And this guy look like he's been here for a minute. So, I don't know. We may be able to check back and check on him uh, and see how long he's gonna be there. But we're gonna try to find one of these sites to get out and check and see what they have. But yeah, I think about 20, 25, 30 sites out here, maybe. Um, but this is really full. I wasn't expecting it to be this full um, today. But um, we might check out both of these sites. We might be able to check out, uh, check out, like that was site seven. And then there's another site up there that we're gonna go check out give us a give us an idea what they have because i've never seen i've never been into these sites um so we're gonna pull up right here and we're gonna check out see what site seven has to offer us here all right we're getting out to site seven well, let's see what they got you have 
uh, concrete pad, fire pit, um, picnic table. I don't know, not that long of a site. We'll go back here, turn around. You pull in there, I don't know, 20 feet, 25 feet, maybe, if you're trying to fit in there. Decent site. Then you have sewer, of course. Let's see what they got for power. They got both 30 and 50 amp. 30 and 50 amp and 20 amp up under there. Water, two water spigots. So this is site seven. So again, everything you need, but no extra stuff. You just want to come and stay and maybe shake down the RV. Um shake down the RV, make sure everything working or just a getaway. This is it. Or if you're PCSing and you need to stay somewhere a couple of days until your house gets ready, they got this here for you. So this is site seven here at the RV park. All right, we just checked out site seven. I think there's another one up here. I'm gonna pull into that one. I don't know what site that is, but we're gonna pull into it. Check it out. Pretty sure all of these have 30 amp and 50 amp service. Oh, this guy got, he said, I'm old, slow, and lost. Please go around. <laughs> That's funny. Let us know how you really feel, brother. You ain't in no rush. You live in the RV life. It's all good. No rush. Probably a veteran, a retired veteran too, so respect. Much respect to you. So this is, shit, I don't know what site this is, but we about to find out. We're going to pull up right here and see what we got going on. Right, so, oh, site 12. This is what this is. Uh, fire pit, somebody left some trash in there. That's unfortunate. But, um, site 12. Yeah, sewer, full hookup site, sewer, water, same as the other one. 50 amp and 30 amp. Water, sewer, full hookup site, site 12. So possibly, you know, still you can't get a big boy in here, but you probably can get a 30 foot camper in here, maybe. That's where you'll be putting the camper at once I focus. That's where you'll be putting the camper at right there. Well, you probably get a 20, 30 foot camper in here. We're back into the road right here. So that's what you got at site 12. Nice site. But again, um, full hookups. But that's all you get. So yeah, we just looked at site 12. Um, nice level. You know, not a concrete padded site. But you got a concrete pad for like where your picnic table, or even picnic tables, where your chairs and your living area. Okay, the, the RV will be on gravel. Um, but they do have concrete out there for you to, you know, receive guests or set up whatever you want to set up out there. Um, all of them come with a fire pit. All of them are full hookups, it looks like to me. Um, I don't know exactly. It looks like they have area reserved for tenters out here also. Um, plenty of area to tent camp out here as well. Um, but there goes somebody coming in right now. But yeah, just a decent military RV park for you to stop and while you're traveling. You definitely earned it as a service member i mean i'm a service member so you definitely earned it um i won't go into what the costs are because who knows when you're going to look at this video but let's just say it's going to look at that puma that's what we have palomino puma we have that brand not that type but i love those um won't go into the cost too much because costs change and who knows, you could be looking at this video five years from now. But let's just say that it's cheap. <laughs> I'll say when I stayed here, uh, I believe it was $25 a night for a full hookup site. 
and I have a 37 foot travel trailer. So um, that was when I stayed here. But that's when I stayed here. You can give them a call. Um, Hunter Army Airfield, uh, MWR, and you can check out all of that stuff, but it's not gonna be expensive. It's not gonna be expensive at all. Um, because again, you don't have a lot of, it's just basically a place for you to park and uh, hang out. Um, so this whole place is called Lots Island. So we're gonna drive down here. So when you stay here, you can pull out of there and make that left and go down to Lots Island. Get a walk on, walk out here, run out here, exercise. Those a little small recreation area. I mean, I guess you could bring the kids down here. You see, they got a little um, kid area right there. Got a little pier. go around and look at the whole thing and then I'm probably going to go up there and check that out. The pier. The outdoor deal for events. I don't know, that pier look kind of, <coughs> excuse me, that pier don't look like it got much going on there. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I'll be careful going up on that thing. That thing look rolled up. So yeah, you got a couple people out here today, out on the basketball court. It doesn't look like they're playing basketball. It looks like they hanging out out there. What, they got a kite? Oh, no, they got frisbees or something over there. I don't know. Either way, they're enjoying it. But again, there's not a lot going on out here. It's just uh, your basic one, two, three. Get in and get out type situation up here. But if you're traveling and you can link this into um, you're going north or south, you're a service member, you can link this into uh, your travel. It's definitely worth pulling over and spending $20, $30 a night, whatever it may be, $15 a night, whatever it may be when you come through. Um, definitely going to be worth that to maybe stop for a night if you want to visit Savannah, which is beautiful. Um, you want to visit Savannah, this is definitely a place you can pull in and stay here for a couple of days to actually access Savannah. Savannah's probably about 10, 15 minutes to the city center from here, if that. So you could definitely um, get to Savannah. You can get to Tabby Island from here. Tabby Island is probably about 30 minutes from here. Um, it's a lot of different uh, sites that you can see. Uh, using this as a jumping off point. So we're gonna get out and go up here on this pier and see what we can see. Again, I've never been up on this pier. All right, so we just jumped out up here at Lots, the recreation area. So we're gonna run up on this pier, see what they got to offer up here. I don't know, you're talking about alligators and stuff. Man, I'm trying to make it up here. We will, <laughs> we'll go check it out up here, see what we got going on. So, yeah. Sometimes there's boats out here. Um, not a boat out here right now, but sometimes there's boats moored out here. I said this pier, I don't know. I'm walking lightly out here. I'm trying to stay close to <laughs> I don't know what's happening out here on this pier, so but fishing, I don't know. I'm sure you can. They have uh the little sink there where you can clean fish, I'm sure. So, this is it. 
nice little pier area. That's 204 right there. That's the road you would come in on if you come when you come off 95. 204 will bring you down here to Hunter, Hunter Army Airfield. It's beautiful out here. It's a beautiful day. I hate that it was raining today. Um, but I still get out here. We get out here for the sucker free squad. You know, we get out here and, and make it do what it do. Again, on this channel, you get a lot of how to's, do it yourselves, travel, RV parks. You know, my fam, we real big into traveling. So you're gonna get a lot of that on this channel. Camper, you know, and even when we can't use our camper, or we're not out in the camper, we're doing stuff like this. Reviewing RV parks, truck stops, and all that kind of stuff. So if you're into that kind of stuff, we appreciate y'all being around for us. Uh, give us a like, give us a comment. We love talking to you guys uh, in the comments or in the email. I will, we do put our email down in the description. So if you want to just reach out to us, maybe you're a service member or something, and you want to just put out the information. Uh, of course, I will not be putting up any videos of the installations for security purposes, of course. Uh, we won't be putting up any videos of that. But the recreation centers where people get to come and visit, we do that all day. But we won't be putting up gates and all that kind of stuff. But there's definitely uh, other apps and a whole bunch of uh, products out there that you could use to get you all that information. Or call the MWR themselves and they'll be glad to give it to you. Um, but as far as the campground and enjoying yourself out here seeing some of this good footage and all this kind of stuff out here seeing some of this these look at that view i don't know is that considered a sunset i'm not sure but uh it's amazing so i think this is where we're gonna end it off at i mean with that beautiful sunset or sun going down behind us here from savannah georgia hey thanks for hanging it out with hanging out with us family we appreciate that uh, we just a little small channel trying to get it going you know this is more for me about creating memories for my family you know i lost my father uh, a couple years ago and i didn't realize until after he had passed away that we didn't have a lot of video we had a lot of pictures you know we created a lot of memories we did a lot of things with him but we didn't have a lot of video um, of him in living color so you know, right then we decided to do something like this and to share our experiences with others and be able to leave these experiences for my family when I'm gone or whatever. We'll always have this video. But we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. If you like this kind of content, stay tuned. Give us a like, comment down below. We'll see you in the next one.